All right, today we are going into Walmart. We have two goals. We wanna find the new Walmart mystery box. Hopefully we can find one of those. Someone sent me a picture, they look pretty fun. And then also we wanna find more Battles of Legend Crystal events because we gotta get the left arm. We gotta pull that thing. So that's our two goals. Hopefully we can find something. Let's go. There they are, the mystery power boxes. And not only that, Battles of Legend, we will be going ham on these. We should probably get, there's a lot of these. One, two, three, I'll probably get like three of them. There's seven here. Got Pokemon, a bunch of Pokemon, Winder. Here's the new set with the Lugia in it. Be cool. What is this? Never seen that before. These actually look, I really wish Yu-Gi-Oh had something like this. These are really cool. Anything else cool here? I don't know, I think that's it, but we found what we need, which is the mystery power boxes. I'm pretty excited about these. Let's grab them real quick. All right, that was easy. First Walmart, got both of the things we're looking for. So let's go home and open these things up. See how these mystery boxes are. I bet they'll be all right. The uh, Crystal Revenge though, left leg, here we go. Right now. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart and we have everything that we bought. Let's get right into it and get to opening. Before we get into the opening, we will be giving away one of the mystery power boxes that we got from Walmart. So all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about these new mystery boxes. Do you have them in your local Walmarts? If you're not, you know, from the US, you probably don't have a Walmart. So let me know what you think about them. Do you wish you had them? Do you like them? Do you think they're worth the money? All right, guys, today we have two mystery boxes to open. One is being given away to you guys inside two booster packs, two duelist packs, one legacy pack one deck and one mystery item these are the holiday edition version because we are hitting the holidays thanksgiving christmas stuff like that and uh we have a lot of epicness to be open today so hopefully these are really nice let's see what it says up here celebrate the holidays with a Yu-Gi-Oh mystery power box each box contains two booster packs two duelist packs one legacy pack one Yu-Gi-Oh deck and one mystery item look for rare legend of blue eyes white dragon packs randomly inserted inside are these rare at this point i mean i guess they are we don't really see them too much anymore in terms of walmart so it's pretty cool that we're seeing them again and then of course we grab 10 Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. So we will be trying to redeem ourselves from the eight hour live stream the other day. If you guys missed that, go check it out. We need to pull the left arm of the Forbidden One Starlight Rare. If we can pull it out of these 10, it'll be the craziest thing that's ever happened on this channel. All right, I think we are gonna start off with the Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge, then go into the mystery boxes. Let's see if we can pull that Starlight Rare left arm of the Forbidden One. Let me know in the comments, should I get more of these packs if we don't get it here? You know, should we go back to Walmart? Should we get booster boxes? Should we get another case? Should we do something like that? Uh, another live stream? And uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. We can try and maybe even do other videos searching for it. We could do a live stream. I don't know. Whatever you guys want. Morphtronic Impact, Advanced Dark, and we have... Da Doodle Beast. Da Doodle Beast. Stego. Very nice. Secret Rare. Okay, very cool. I think by the time this comes out, it will finally officially be released. The prices are being edited the day before still. What? No. They doubled... It was, it was an error. They doubled the, uh, the covering. I've seen that before, actually. But uh, they'll finally actually be the correct prices. But we're editing this the day before it's released. So I don't think that it's actually going to be the correct prices on the screen. It'll probably be lower than what you see today. But we're going to do our best, see what we can do, you know, because when it releases, the prices change. Usually go down, some go up. Blackwing, we got the Crystal Skull Rainbow Bridge. G Golem Stubborn Min here and a Clockwork Knight. I counted out all the secret rare ratios the other day, and man, those short prints are very short printed. You get like a hundred of some secrets, and the same like amount of packs, I got 20 something of the short prints. So they're like literally like a quarter as popular as populated, I guess you would say, as some of the other ones. So it's pretty rough on some of these. We've got the Mr. Incredible, we've got the Amazonas Hall, Crystal Heart, Rajin. And number 100 Numeron. This is one that had like 109. I think I had 109 of these out of 10 cases. So you're getting like 10 of them per case. And then for the short prints, for like access code, we got 29. So it was uh, definitely a major short print, which is unfortunate. Don't really love to see that, but let's see what we can get this time. We have Hieratic Seal. That's not bad at all. We got the Dragon Nails, Blackwing Sirocco, the Dawn, Gravity Balance. Man, it's supposed to be Topaz Tiger. Very nice. All right, come on, Battles of Legend. Bless us with some random Walmart pack blister magic. That would be absolutely insane if we could pull it off. Come on, Topaz Tiger. Give us the luck. Here we go. Let's pull something big. We have the Emblem, Stonehenge, Poor Palad Eye Seeker, G Golem Stubbermint here, and the Evil Twin, Kisa Kill. Very nice. 
a secret rare. Got a few packs to go. Let's do this. Give us a Starlight, Thunderball, Mr. Incredible, Amazonas Hall. We got the Advanced Dark. We got a Blackwing, Samoon, the Poison Wind. And Vayu, the Emblem of Honor, a very cool Edison card. I've mentioned that many times. Four packs, Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge. Here we go. Can we pull the Topaz Tiger? Right, okay, let's not pull the Topaz Tiger. Let's pull a Starlight. Here we go. Gravity balance. Come on, left arm. Here we go. Gadget box. There's a Topaz Tiger out of a Topaz Tiger pack. That just happened. It did. And that's one of the ones that we pulled like 80 something of all the Crystal Beast, basically. They're definitely not short printed compared to the other ones. So they're a lot easier to pull. So it's not really not that crazy to pull it, I guess. We've got the Bladdle, Battle, not the Bladdle, the Battle of the Sealing Spirits, Sleeping Spirits, Toontera, I can't speak, Senko, Heroic Call. It was cold outside, guys. Can, can you blame me? I had to go to Walmart. It was cold. And a Royal Slate Slasher. Royal Straight Slasher. I'm saying L's and T's backwards. I don't know what is happening right now. Second to last pack of Crystal Revenge. Our last couple chances at pulling the Starlight. These were like four bucks each. Definitely not as cheap as buying a booster box of Sassy Auto using code Rux and Revenge for 5% off. Definitely not that cheap. Black, we got the Battle of the Sleeping Spirits. I'm going to get it right. More of the Spear. Porn Pal, Odd Eye Seeker, and a number 100 Numeron. I told you, that one's really easy to get. It's weird, like, knowing all the, like, the, the easiest ones to pull and the hardest ones to pull. It's very weird. Like, I didn't count every single one, but I counted a bunch of them. Uh, and there were just stack sizes. I could tell, like, oh, there's a lot of these and some of them that I didn't count or whatever. So here's our last chance. Left arm, we have Blackwing, Gale, the Whirlwind, Full Armor Master, Odd Eye Seeker, Fry for Patchwork, and chaos creator all right this one was not quite as printed but it wasn't a short print so no left arm we're gonna have to keep searching guys all right it's time to check out these mystery boxes let's see what's inside let's do it one at a time you know mysteriously let's see what we can get i mean there's a deck inside which is interesting i'm interested to see what the deck is that they added because last time it was like the same decks over and over this one has a starter deck kaiba on it let's see if it is the kaiba it is the kaiba so you will be getting an ultimate rare blue eyes out of this which is I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll give them that. That's that's pretty cool. I don't think there's a lot of great cards besides that, but not bad. We'll take that. What is next? We have how many packs in here? Two booster packs, two duelist packs, one mystery item. So four packs and a mystery item, I guess. I don't know what the mystery item is going to be. Let's see if it's duelist pack Kaiba like it showed. Oh, we have a Dimension of Chaos. So this is just a regular pack. Can we get that Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend? We have Yada, Magic Specter Crow Yada. Dark Contract with the Gate. Didi Savant Galilei. Contract Laundry. Cosmo Wicked Witch. Swirl Swine. We've got the Great Cobra. We've got the Kieran. I think this is the card that's banned. A very good card. Super Every Samurai Transport. I think that's where the foil would be. So this is a banned card, which is pretty cool, but nothing else. Next up, let's see if we can find a... Oh, Invasion of Chaos. So there's our other booster pack, I think. Very nice. We're looking for those rare Legend of Blue Eyes, as they said, but we will take those rare uh, Invasion of Chaos as well. As well, I should say. Fenrir. Very nice. So, oh, look. Fenrir. It's not like the uh, Castiro Fenrir. It's the original Fenrir. We got the Sacred Crane. Too bad that one's not 60 bucks like the other one. Spatial Collapse. We got the Sylphide. Can we get that Chaos Emperor Dragon, the Blacklister Soldier Envoy of the Beginning? Can we get Demok? Let's go. Dimension Distortion. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. Giga. Gaga. Gigo. Very nice. Dark Triceratops. And here we go. Ooh, a Chaos Rider Gustav. I, I saw like the darker border. I was like, ooh, did we get a foil? And we did. Just a super rare though, but it's still a foil. We cannot be mad about that out of a legacy car or a legacy pack. It's a legacy foil. We'll take it. Next up. Okay. What is this? Wait, where are the duelist packs? Was our mystery item like a, another pack? Maybe that was it. Doesn't seem like an item though. Very interesting. One. Oh, one legacy pack. I, didn't, I missed that. Okay. So there are three extra packs besides the duelist pack. Uh, let's do three. We have the Element Saber... Aina? Yajiro Invader? Okay. Yajiro? What in the world is going on there? That is creepy. All right. Transfamiliar. FA Dead Heat. Goki Octo Stretch. Those are the Goki stuff. We've got the Space Insulator. Insulating Space. Oh, a Nightmare Corrupt. <laughs> Nightmare Corruptor Ible. Man, I am really stumbling over everything today. But this is one of the best cards when it first came out. I think it's still a pretty great card. So it is in front of the rare there. Interesting. Secret Rare. That's a good pull. <laughs> pull i literally cannot say anything right now i'm telling you guys the cold has gotten to my head i can't i can't talk anymore next up we have our ooh duelist pack kaiba you guys know the story about this one the most nostalgic product for me and this is included in the most nostalgic product but we could get an ultimate rare let's go interdimensional matter transporter x head cannon this could be huge y dragon head i think it's the next card if it's going to be an ultimate rare here we go 
Enrage Battle Ox, and then a Vorse Raider, an Attack Bow. All right, we now have one mystery item and one more. It seems like a Duelist pack. Hopefully, it's a Kaiba. Oh, it's a Yugi. All right, okay. Poor Yugi. He just gets the worst Duelist pack ever. I mean, there are a lot of them are bad, but his is not great. It is Stronghold, the Moving Fortress, Queen's Knight. Summon Skull. Of course, we pull something good, and then a Monster Reborn. Summon Skull, very good card. We will take it. I think it's a couple bucks, even though this has been printed a lot. It's just the alternate artwork. People really like it. All right, time for a mystery item. Oh, no. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, these are not the mystery item. Come on, Holiday Box. You didn't do us like that. Come on, man. A giant blue eyes. <laughs> oh, come on. Blue eyes, white dragon. Ugh, you can't even give these away. Yeah, that's that's why they're in the mystery box. MJ holding, you done it to us again. The giant blue eyes. But honestly, besides the giant card, you know, the mystery pack or mystery thing being a giant card, it was pretty decent. But man, that's a bummer. I really hope that's not all of them, but it probably is. Knowing these mystery boxes, there's not a lot of mystery to them. They're like you open them once and you kind of know what you're going to get every single time. Occasionally, you'll have a little bit of a mystery, but let's see about this one. Oh, and I said you can't give these away, but that's not true because this is in the giveaway today. So we can give away. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get the rest of the way. The second box. It's kind of funny because this is the same product as that, plus the Duelist Pack Kaibas and stuff. They literally just like opening those collector boxes and then adding like two packs to it. Like, <laughs> that's essentially what this is. All right, let's check our mystery item out. Whoa, such a cool mystery item. Wow, look at that corner. PSA 10, baby. Blue Eyes White Dragon, you love it. All right, what else we got? We have, all right, the deck is gonna be, oh, <laughs> who would have thought? The Star Deck Kyber Reloaded. Two of those. All right, if you guys are interested in these, uh, giveaway, because it's probably gonna be the same thing. All right, now the exciting part, the other packs. Let's see what we can get. We have... Flames are Dark Saviors. Is this what we got last time? No, it was Flames of Destruction last time. Okay, yeah, that's, that's why I said Flames almost. I was just ready for it to be the same. All right, I don't know if there's a pack trick. Let's do this. We have, I don't think there is. Area Zero, Reinforcement of the Army is really cool. Mystic Tomato, also pretty cool. We've got a Vampire Familiar, very cool Vampire card. And then a Training for Hire, for all your training needs. For all your training. Okay, all right, all right, not bad. What else we got? We've got a Duelist Pack Yugi. Not too excited about this part. All right, here we go. Wax the Soldier Ritual, Stronghold the Moving Fortress, Big Shield Gun, Polymerization. So, of course, it's just the classic. You uh, act like the pack's really bad and you pull the good card. So, this is probably one of the best cards because it's the alternate art polymerization plus the alternate art summon skull. So, I guess that's not too bad. I guess the stick with the Yugi was the alternate arts rather than the ultimate rares, which was a big mistake, but also kind of cool. Then we have a Duelist Pack Kaiba. At least it's not both Yugis. You get one Kaiba, one Yugi. That feels a little better because Kaiba is pretty epic. We have Sagi, the Dark Clown, because I don't think there are alternate arts in this one, so I think it was only Yugi that did that. Polymerization, very nice. The Judge Man, the Man of the Judge. Familiar Knight, okay, I think that was it. And then the Kaiser Seahorse. Dang it, I got a little carried away with the Judge Man thing, and no suspense. All right, two packs to go. What are they gonna be? We still have our Legacy Pack to pull. There it is, Invasion of Chaos. Not bad, not too far of a drop off from LOB, to be honest. Some people like it even more. Let's see if we can get one of those big Chaos monsters, not the sort, because that's a common, but I would still take it. Crimson Ninja, the Tower of Babel, Chaos End. Manju of the 10,000 hands. We've pulled this many times, used to be $3, probably under a dollar now because it's been reprinted so much in like foil and stuff. Cannonball Spear, Shellfish. Grand Maju de Aiza, Sea Serpent, Warrior of Darkness. He has Battle Prowess as well, doesn't he? Where is it? Fighting Prowess, not quite Battle Prowess, so not good as that Insect Knight, but we have Chain Disappearance, and the last card from IOC. Will it be a big one? Ooh, the Ryu Koki. I was looking for this for a long time. I finally did get three of those, but still a nice card to pull because I was looking for it for a while. And our final pack of this video, what is it going to be? It is. There's the Flames of Destruction. So very different, very mysterious boxes we have here. Yeah, very crazy. Here we go. Flames of Destruction. Destruction of the Flames. Will we pull something epic? Let's go. I think it, so last time it was right here. So this is the secret, gonna swap it there. There we go, let's see if we can nail that. Oh, okay, I messed that up, but I think I still got the secret in the right spot, or potential foil. Don Dragster, the Pico Folino, which got an OTS super later, which is weird. Limit code, can we pull that called by the grave out of here? It's a common. Yajiro Invader, very creepy looking. Space Insulator, he's insulating space, at it again. Madolche Fresh Sistar, Madolche cards. Trickstar Nightshade, very nice. Oh, 
Oh, and a Nightmare Phoenix. There is a good one. So I definitely messed up the pack trick there. But Nightmare Phoenix is a very good super. I think it's worth a couple bucks. Even uh, I think supers are guaranteed in this set. So even as a guaranteed super, very, very nice card. So even though we got like the same sort of packs over and over and these mystery boxes weren't that mysterious and they had just a bunch of cards from the uh, Kaiba collection and Yugi collection, we actually had some pretty good pulls out of the packs. Let me know what you think about these in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then his high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.